honestly, I was never looking to becoming an Olympic gymnast. I was never going to compete. I was just going there to have fun. Normally, some kids walk to a, a new gym. You know, they want to a little shy and they are a little scared or whatever that is. They want to check things out. But that wasn't Sean's case. She walked in the door and jumped right onto the bars. <laughs> that was like her home. <laughs> I never saw myself as like the it girl. I never saw myself having all the talent. I just, I loved being in the gym and that was it. Well, the whole gymnastics thing, um, I mean, we definitely had no agenda for anything in the future or, you know, goals for what we wanted her to do or be or anything. And even when she was in gymnastics, shoot, she played soccer and she ran track. I mean, she kind of tried a lot of other things during. But, you know, in gym, it starts and then it just progresses very gradually without you even knowing it. You know, you pick up an extra day or you pick up an extra hour and then all of a sudden you're on pre-team and... You know, and then you're invited to team, and that, so it just happens so easily. And she just stayed loving it, so there was just never a question that, you know, that's what she wanted to do, and so we just kept her doing it. I've definitely gone through times where I ask myself, do I still want to do this, or why am I doing this? Because you always go through times where it gets too hard. It gets so mentally and physically demanding that you almost can't take it anymore, but... That's what gymnastics about is about. They, it pushes you to your limits and it teaches you everything about yourself. But I don't know. I I kept going back and I'd have another good day that would remind me of why I'm there. So it's never made me quit yet. It's the best feeling ever to accomplish a new skill or to make something perfect just because you work so hard and you set goals and dreams for yourself to achieve these things and when you spend so much time working on it and to finally get it, it just tells you that hard work does pay off and that you can reach your goals and stuff and it makes it more realistic for you thinking that your bigger dreams like the Olympics and Worlds and your competitive aspirations come true. Yes, right there. Yes, she's very coachable and she's taking your messages and correcting herself. And that's how she got better every single day, every single minute. And that's the joy for her coaching. Whenever I look at her when she's doing something really good, I just feel we have a great connection. The things I talk to her, just like she's taking it from my heart. And I told her, Sean, you and I are one person because you do everything, but you don't see it. But I can see everything. I'm your eyes. I tell you where you do great and where you didn't do great, and you take it and you look good. You know, obviously gymnastics is a huge part of her life, but what I really enjoy is it's not the only thing that Sean is about, and I think that's cool. What's but I think, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that she is involved in school and takes advantage of Thing, other things that interest her. When she's at school, that's her. She's away from gymnastics. That gives her the time to to be somewhat like everybody else, uh, as far as uh, not having the gymnastics. And so that's why she really likes mm -hmm. the school because she can be like everybody else. Someone were to tell me to write a poem. I mean, give me five minutes and <laughs> it just comes out. I don't know why. It's just I've got so much thoughts and emotions in my head that stuff like that just kind of flows right out. I don't know. You fear the loss and pain of defeat, but still are able to stand on two feet. You crumble and cry as much as you want, but nothing can keep you away from the hunt. This is what you've been working for, the pride and honor as you take to the floor. You remember the struggles and pain you had when all the good had turned to bad, when behind the scenes you crumbled and prayed for it all to simply just go away. The doubt and regrets of what you went through sometimes just made you want to give it to. The next girl in line that had gave it her all, but always seemed to carry the fall. You remember the times when you thought to give up, but never could find a reason to disrupt. Anything and everything that you had given to the sport, the heart, desire, and all the support. But when the pressure builds and tears you apart, how are you able to not depart? How are you able to, how are you able to still carry a smile when everything inside is in a pile? 
You hold your head high and never look back because this is what keeps you all intact. It's what runs in your veins and it's the key to your heart and it's only the beginning, only a start. It holds a future that can never be told, one that can shine with the brightest of gold. The sky is its limits with the moon as its guide as no one can ever predict how high one can travel with the hard work put in to truly become a champion. Mm-hmm. <laughs>